Last week I had made this maple picture frame with walnut inlays. At the end of the video, I asked you guys about the holes that I had bored in the back and what they were used for. Most of you guys guessed right. It indeed was for cup hinges. I made this little cubby to hide some of the knickknacks around my house. Then I used the picture frame to conceal it. Let me show you how I did it. You want to start by locating the studs that are inside the wall. Once I located the studs, I proceeded to mark on the wall where I was going to be cutting my opening. Typical framing, studs are 16 inches on center. That will make the opening 14 inches wide. The height of your opening will vary on whatever size picture frame you ended up making. I used a level to draw out the lines. Here I used a black marker so that you could see it a little bit better on camera, but you could just use a pencil. When choosing a location for your picture frame, make sure and check that in the wall cavity you intend to put it in, that there isn't any type of plumbing or electrical that'll get in your way. I used a drywall saw to plunge in to make my cuts. If you notice, I only cut on the downstroke or towards the wall. Then when I pick up the saw, I back it off, pull it out, and then push it back in a little bit to avoid chip out of the plaster. Once the hole was cut, this is what the opening looked like. I knew that I was going to have to work around a hollow wall anchor that was sitting on the other side of the wall, but other than that I didn't have anything I had to work around. Then you get yourself a 2x4. I cut the ends of the 2x4 at a slight back bevel so that it would fit into the opening a little bit nicer. The screw in the center sticking up is in case the 2x4 were to fall in the wall, I had something to hold on to. I also pre-drilled and put in some screws at an angle so that I was able to attach the 2x4. Make sure and do this top and bottom. You're essentially framing in a small window. I also added a couple screws into the new 2x4 to hold the drywall in place. I then used a damp rag to moisten the other side of the drywall and then the 2x4s. This helps the joint compound adhere nicely to the 2x4s and also the drywall. Sometimes when you apply joint compound to dry items, it sucks all the moisture out of the joint compound and doesn't give you enough time to work it. In my house, my walls are textured with a skip trawling method. This makes it rather easy on me because I can apply the joint compound and it doesn't have to be completely smooth. Another good handy tip, instead of sanding the joint compound when you dries, use another damp rag to moisten some of the areas and knock down some of the high spots and wipe off some of the areas you wanted to clean up. This way it gives you a little bit more control and you're not getting all that dust in the air. Then it was time for a little bit of paint. If you don't have any extra paint that is your wall color, just about any home center will match paint colors for you. I'd like to also note that you don't even have to match the paint color. The inside of this thing can be white or really any color you want. I pre-drilled the picture frame for the hinges and I screwed them on. The hinges that I installed are what are known as soft close hinges. Being that the picture frame was going to have glass in it, I wanted something that wasn't necessarily going to get slammed shut and have a possibility of breaking the glass. Then you can just put the picture frame in place, mark its position, pre-drill the holes, and install the brackets. And you might be able to notice from this close-up shot that the bracket that I'm installing right here is actually backwards. I didn't necessarily notice it until right here. Luckily it was a quick fix and I just flipped the bracket around and reinstalled it. Once the frame is installed, you can add shelving units inside or hooks for keys or basically anything else that you want to store in there. So there you go, all said and done. Got a nice little hiding spot for whatever you want to put in there. 
my plan is to put a couple shelf pins in there. That way I can put in a couple chunks of maple or whatever for shelves. Also maybe a key hook or two. Well that about wraps it up for this one. Until next time, I'll see you next week.